these YouTubers. My name's Bob Carrier. I needed to make a foundry. If I cast aluminum molds, I make aluminum molds, and sometimes you just need to make some compound curves. And that's a great way to do it, is just cast it and then weld it into your fabricated molds. Uh, you can also make all sorts of other parts, but one of the features of my particular foundry is just, I made it so it could use wood. Now, the advantage, you can use charcoal, you can use uh, coal, you can use uh, propane if you want to, but wood as is, is readily available anywhere. Uh, in our case, I use often old skids made of hardwood. They throw away those uh, the skids, so you have them. You can use the hardwood on the property. You've got branches are constantly falling down. Just use regular wood. Huge advantage for you. Making your own charcoal is a nice feature, but it takes time. One of the disadvantages, by the way, for using wood is it's smoky. So if you're doing this in the center of the, uh, a big urban society, uh, a city, uh, bear that in mind. It's very smoky uh, and possibly toxic depending on what you're burning. This particular design is very simple. First of all, as you can see, I used a dryer drum. Simple. It was somebody threw it away. There you go. You got it. There's the dryer blower. I put it in. And that's our, our source of air, air for the unit. Inside, I use the Pentatute fire bricks. Now, that's the one key item you're gonna have to spend money on. Uh, it's nice to do it with plaster of Paris, but obviously we've known that plaster of Paris can take the heat over a long period of time. The fire bricks that I, I got, I got lucky. I asked around until finally I found somebody that was throwing some away and I got the whole pile for 10 bucks. What I did with the bricks is I cut them at a 45 so they can join together to create a pentatute in the center. This makes them, when they all join together, super strong just as is without having to anchor them in any way, shape, or form. On the outside, I layered them with regular house bricks. So you can use a 45 gallon drum, by the way. You don't need to use a, a dryer a drum. You can use a 45 gallon drum. The outside of the drum is this kind of brick. The inside, fire bricks. And in between, you can fill it with dirt or you can fill it with cement or plaster of Paris, whatever you prefer. The inside mechanism is really simple. You have a tube with a 45 in it. Now, this one is just at the scrapyard. I managed to get it already bent. Uh, you can use plumbing fittings to do it, two inch plumbing fittings. This piece is your where your air comes out. And on top of the whole assembly is your crack. That's it. Then the wood piles up in between, all the way around. All that air blowing in it blows a super bright orange flame. It'll turn that crack blue and red in no time at all which is a nice feature, just using wood. One more feature, the carafe that I made, if anybody's really interested, these oxygen cylinders that throw out all the time for old folks to help them breathe sort of thing. They, uh, they don't recycle them, they, they throw them away. That's all I did is I used one of these carafes. It stays rather clean on the inside, so it doesn't build up or anything like that. Also with this particular design, what I'm doing is I'm doing this two-stage method. You take scrap pop bottles, scrap aluminum, and you cast it the first time into an ingot. This is fairly clean aluminum, but when you take these ingots and recast them a second time, into the finished product, then you get pure aluminum, nice finish. So don't try and just go straight to uh, pop cans and make something out of that. You got too much junk in the aluminum. You go to the two step process, you're not spending anything in wood, just your time. Thank you for listening to me. You have a great day. I hope this is the kind of unit you can use, you can use worldwide, which is nice. You can use them in Africa or in Asia, anywhere where, you know, uh, wages are.